gonna fly a kind of old 4S pack that's not really pumping out the watts like it used to. I'm gonna Velcro the battery in nice and deep, which allows me to balance at 88 millimeters. We got that figured out. Battery's in good. Check the balance. Got a little bit of wind. So it looks like we're balancing right at 88. Battery's not going anywhere. All right. Got a little bit of wires hanging out in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, up is up. I'm going to Okay, maybe we started this is the maiden flight of my Sky Angel JAS 39. We're uh, grip, gripping, griping, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And uh, we're going to try an underhand toss. Um, up, right, left, down. I have a rudder that works as well. Landing mode, launch mode. Put the letter rudder on low rates for, for this flight. We got about a 10 mile an hour wind, about five to 10 in that area. Not too rough or anything. Okay, this is a 4S, kind of a low, a weak pack 4S. Um, and it's a change, it's a XRP 50 millimeter. All right. Holy smokes, the trim is pretty good right off the bat. I need to put some color on the bottom. Straight up. Watch this roll right. I'm upside down. I gave it one click of roll trim so far. I haven't trimmed anything else. Rolls a bit on the snappy side for my liking. Gonna go to low ro rates on roll. We got like 30% expo and 50% uh, travel. 30 seconds. Land it. One. Time expired. Cruise mode. Landing mode. All right. I got a little bit, a little bit mixed up on my sticks there at the last second. This is a hot little jet. Ugh. 
so I have to work on slowing it down. But uh, very capable on 4S. The all-up weight is like 450 grams. That's probably why it's flying a little faster. But it's all the uh, 4S power subsystems. 40 amp speed controller, 1000 milliamp 4S, 45C nanotech. And uh, I put the, the tail servo in. I didn't even try that. <laughs> forgot, forgot the term tail servo. But hey, that was a good first maiden flight. Timer, we'll start with the throttle. Here's flight two. We must go straight. Straight up. Real nice all by itself. Of up trim, so I'm flying much slower than I was my last approach. I'm probably should bump the dual rates up for that next time, but it's uh, flying real nice. Flight two. Okay, flight three. Um, terms are set. Launch mode. Low rates roll, mid rates elevator. Rudders at low rate. Yeah, recording. Okay. Very nice. Cruise mode. Cruise mode, staying at full throttle. Full throttle. Better than one to one. No throttle. Seconds. That's a low rate roll of <laughs> low rates. All right, I hit a weed and it uh, made it land poorly. <sighs> yeah, one thing about this plane, it's got these jags in the wing that'll catch the weeds and let a, and sh yeah, here's where it caught. I put some epoxy in there because I know, oh, look at that. It hit right there too. I know that'll grab the weeds and cause it to jerk it around. It's like a unfortunate thing to mold into these wings. Might want to sand it out or something. Looks scale but it's terrible for landing in weeds. And thrust it up. Throttling back. Cruise mode. Cruise mode. 
Full throttle. Thing is fast. One click a roll. Time remaining two minutes. Crazy roll rate, and I'm at low rates with Expo. So dark I'm having trouble judging bank angle. So there's pink pink clouds. The sun is just about down. Landing mode. I think I'll play around in landing seconds. mode. Okay, I've got high rates. And two more clicks of up trim. Alright, too fast. Try that again. Good flight, a lot of power. Things pretty fast. It's probably uh, I don't know, 90 mile an hour range for us. Do you do that for you?